Hello and welcome to Project Guts. In this video, we'll be making a computer model of agents interacting with other agents that will model a simple epidemic. First, you're going to search for the Lesson 5 Epidemic Model Starter, and you'll go ahead and remix it. And you'll see here in the description area that there's some information about what the model should include. We'll have some healthy turtles, and they'll be blue. We'll have some sick turtles, and they'll be red. And we're going to create a transmission slider that is going to represent the probability of getting sick. And then after we've gotten that working, we'll add a recovery slider uh, that will allow the turtles to get healthy again. So let's take a look at what we start with. We are in the world and our setup is here with um, 300 turtles and they're blue and three turtles and they are red and it ends with a scatter everyone. So that should look like this, some blue and some reds that are there. And now we want them to be moving around. So we're going to go to the turtle page and this is where we're going to work within the forever toggled which is the action. It's the event handler that will uh, take care of the movement. And I'm going to use a procedure. Instead of putting the code directly under the event handler, we're going to put it in here and then we're going to call that procedure in the forever. And notice I put it in wiggle here and you'll see that I can choose which procedure and the one that I made wiggle is there. But right now we don't have any code in that procedure area and since it has to do with movement we'll want the forward, we'll want the left, and we'll want the right. And typically the wiggle will also have random degrees to it so that uh, we can't predict exactly where those turtles will move to. And let's go ahead and test what we have going. And they're moving around, sort of the way we expect it to. And we'll take a look now at adding our transmission slider. Any slider, I should say, is a widget. And we're going to go to the Edit Widgets and to a new widget. And it's a horizontal slider. And then we get to name it Transmission Rate. And we'll add that widget. And they always pop up in the upper left and they're covering the setup in the forever widget so we're going to be able to move it. And we can only move it and do editing when the screen is grayed out like this. This is also when we want to change the maximum. Uh, the default is 10 but we want a percent chance and it's easier to think of that as 100. And the trick here is to hit the return or enter button after that. And you'll see now that we can use that even when we're in the edit mode to show that it goes all the way up to 100. And we can also double click on this gray area. And if you wanted to change the name, you could do that here. And if you wanted to change the level of precision and other aspects about the slider, you can do that in this area. So now we have a widget, but and it we know that it can go up to 100, but the problem is, is that we don't have any code yet that is calling that actual slider. And this is an epidemic, and we're going to be using uh, the collision to indicate turtles bumping into turtles, healthy bumping into sick, and they'll have a chance of getting sick themselves, which will be indicated with uh, the color. So we'll get the collision block going here. So here we have our code where if a turtle collides with a turtle, first it's going to check and see that if the color is red of the person or the turtle that it bumps into, then it's going to turn red. And in this case, it's always going to happen that if they bump into a red turtle, they will themselves turn red. And that's a 100% chance. However, we want to use the transmission slider that we made so that we can set the rate of transmission so in this case we're going to use another logic and we're going to set up an equation here that will allow us to um, bring in the transmission slider. And since it's based on 100 we want random 100 and that is less than or equal to and in this case it's the transmission rate. And so not only do we want the turtle to check if 
the turtle that it bumps into is red, but we also want it to call that transmission slider so that we have a probability of it getting sick. We have in this case nested logic so that inside this if block we have another if block so then it will uh, set the color red if it meets these two conditions. So let's test that and see how it works. And uh, typically when you want to see if it's going to work, you set it all the way to the highest. And we should see that no matter what, if they bump into a red turtle, they should turn red themselves. And then we can move that all the way down to the lowest. And we should see that the red color stabilizes. And that's looking pretty good, but we could also go ahead and uh, redo it. We have our three sick turtles and our transmission rate is at zero and we would expect that few if any turtles actually get sick after the collision and that looks to be the case. So we have our transmission slider working and the last part of this project is to add a recovery rate and you know how to create a slider and you also know how to code for that slider and the recovery is going to be very similar to the transmission except it's going to be its own procedure and we have a procedure block here and you'll also want to make sure that you put it in the event handler while forever toggled so that it calls whatever the code is inside here and here are some blocks that you'll want to use and put together to make that recovery rate slider work in the way that you would expect it to uh, with an epidemic. Enjoy and happy coding!